everything you have papers in front of you to recite metta but i recite on behalf of all of you and you just focus your mind on these words and uh, think of the meaning of these words while i am reciting and then let your mind totally be focused on the meaning of these words they make a great deal of uh, meaning especially when we put them into practice let me begin these are the words we recite at lunch time every day <coughs> may we be well happy and peaceful may no <coughs> may all beings be happy and secure may all beings have happy minds whatever living beings there may be without exception weak or strong long large medium short subtle or gross visible or invisible living near or far born or coming to birth may all beings have happy minds let no one deceive another nor despise anyone anywhere neither from anger nor ill will should anyone wish harm to another as a mother who risks her own life to protect her only child even so towards all living beings one should cultivate a boundless heart one should cultivate for all the world a heart of boundless loving friendliness above below and all around unobstructed without hate or resentment whether standing walking sitting lying down no when awake one should develop this mindfulness this is called divinely dwelling here not falling into erroneous views but virtuous and endowed with vision removing desires for sensual pleasures one comes never again to birth in the womb these are the thoughts we must cultivate not only sitting on the cushion but all the time as for the said whether sitting standing walking or lying down we keep these thoughts in mind and these are the thoughts that make us living in heaven on earth brahma metam viharam idhamahu brahma is the highest being the best mean a divine abode divine place divine beings so we make our mind a divine abode divine plane when we cultivate these thoughts because they are so altruistic that uh, the mind will be filled with uh, friendly metta feelings with this feeling we feel very happy and relaxed so there is no time that we should not keep this thought in mind now it is even better while we are sitting on the cushion and the mind we are trying to make the mind quiet calm relaxed and peaceful this is the way to relax use in this this the meaning of these words 
friendliness we feel in this sitting that we all are friends we are friends those who are sitting behind us in front of us by our sides all are our friends when we sit in midst of friends we feel secure safe and no tension and anxiety nothing to worry because every one of us sharing practicing the same friendly feelings when we live with friends we feel secure with this state of mind it becomes easier for us to focus our practice focus our mind on our practice so now with this atmos at atmosphere meditative atmosphere we start focusing our mind on the breathing we use the breath as it is a very natural normal universal practice or phenomenon impartial and also we should focus the mind to see what we experience when we breathe in we experience the feeling of inhaling when the lungs are full inhaling cuts off then we feel the emptiness of air in our lungs as we breathe in that feeling fades away we feel the feeling of filling our lungs as we breathe out when our exhaling complete that feeling is gone new feeling arises every time we breathe in we experience new feeling every time we breathe out we experience new feeling so the feeling is keep changing feeling of inhaling feeling of exhaling our perception of the breath and the feeling also is changing so the perception becomes fresh and our awareness is fresh every time feeling perception breath arises our awareness also arises when the breath becomes subtler and subtler our feeling also becomes very subtle when we feel the fresh feeling all the time every moment is a new moment no moment is old we cannot experience future moments or the past moments every moment is fresh and new and present that is why the buddha asked us to focus the mind on the present parimukham satim upatta betva parimukha means in front in front is not a special in front but in present moment very simple present moment is the present or in front moment so the breath is changing feelings changing perception changing awareness changing consciousness changing we notice these changes 
you cannot avoid them when you pay mindful attention. Mindful attention is the attention without greed, hatred, or delusion. Attention free from confusion. Clear, clean, undivided attention. Only when we pay attention, the truth appears to us. That is why the Buddha said, Manasikara Sambhava Sabya Dhamma. All phenomena we experience only when we pay attention. When we don't pay attention, many things pass without our awareness. When we pay attention, we become aware of how things happen, how quickly they happen, how quickly they disappear. When one thing arises, along with another thing arises. When peace arises, we feel comfortable. When agitation arises, we feel uncomfortable. All this happens instantly, immediate in the immediate present. So, <coughs> only way to notice all this is uh, divide, undivided attention. And therefore, we must pay mindful attention that in Pali called Yonisho Manasikara. Yonisho means from the root, the beginning. Even when greed arises, we become aware of the greed from the very beginning. When non-greed arises, we become aware of that non-greedy state. When uh, confusion arises, we become aware of con uh, confusion as it arises. So friends, we always experience something or other happening. So sometimes people say that they cannot gain concentration not gaining concentration is another object of mindfulness. That means when the mind is not concentrated, we become aware of that, be mindful of it. That is why the Buddha says, samahitam chittam, samahitam chittam tipajanati. Asamahitam chittam, asamahitam chittam tipajanati. The mindful person knows the mind is gaining concentration or mind is not gaining concentration. So that becomes an object of our awareness or mindfulness. Then slowly and gradually all other distractions fade away. Only the mindfulness stays focused on the breath. And then breath also becomes subtler and subtler and subtler. Then your awareness becomes very sharp and clear. Then all other distractions fade away. You experience great deal of joy, which leads to happiness, which leads to concentration. So nothing should be precluded, everything should be used to notice the impermanent change, change, nature of everything we experience. Noticing impermanent nature of anything and everything is the theme of Vipassana meditation. And therefore, we want to, I want you all to spend this next few minutes, at least uh, another 15 to 20 minutes, uh, focusing your mind on your breathing, keeping the, these few instructions for, in mind, uh, then uh, stay on the on this theme and then you will see 
how quickly you gain concentration as you gain concentration your awareness of changes becomes very sharp and therefore you will gain very calm peaceful state of mind and you will be very happy to stay in that state so we'll i want to stop here so you continue the practice until i ring the bell
There is no concentration without wisdom, no wisdom without concentration. One who has both wisdom and